Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from ECF Forms and Awesome Big TV. How the hell are you guys doing, baby? Forget about it! Hey, it's Happy Tuesday. Listen, I'm so excited. I'm just getting home from work. Trying to rush here. Got a hot date. Yeah, but I said I got about 30 minutes to kill. I said, let me just do a quick review on something. Well, it's a little bit more than something. Um, I had uh, a lot of PMs asking me, can you actually do a dripper on the K-Fun? And let me tell you, yes, you can, baby. Yes, you can. Um, at least the one that I'm going to do it on is going to be on the K-Fun Mini. Yes, this is the K-Fun Mini. And this is exactly what you get with it. Okay, now, to obtain this is kind of hard right now because it has been stopped. That's right, because uh, they're actually coming out with the new K-Funds. But I was only able to do this on the K-Fund Mini, not on the regular K-Fund 3.1. I have not tried the K-Fund Lite, so I cannot recommend it on the K-Fund Lite. I can absolutely tell you right now, off the bat, you cannot do what I'm about to do on the regular K-Fund 3.1 because it's just, it's just can't. It's impossible. But you can do it on here. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to show you right now, off the bat. Forget about it. How you're gonna get a great vape on this sucker right over here with cotton, ooh, and especially on high resistance as a dripper. Forget about it. So, okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. This is the drip tip, which obviously we're not gonna use because look at that bore size, it's very, very tiny. Take that out, we're not gonna use that. We'll put in our own drip tip. We'll unfasten the top cap, okay. Upper sleeve, lower sleeve, which is a clear through. I'm going to remove that. We're also going to be removing this. Okay, and this is what we have left. Okay, this is the actual Addy. Okay, now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to make that, I'm not going to do sub ohms. I'm going to do a little bit high resistance, but it's still low resistance. Uh, versus sub ohms. It'll probably be like 1.2, 1.4 ohms. This is what I'm actually going to be gearing to. Okay. Um, that way we can put out a variable voltage and pump it up, baby. Forget about it. Um, so, let's see. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to put it on my mount so I can work on it. I'm going to unfasten the actual screws a little bit. Okay, so now, let me see if I can zoom this in a little. Okay, that's as much zooming I can actually do right now. So. We're going to be using for this a uh, 30 gauge. And how is everybody doing out there? I tell you. Hopefully, everyone is enjoying their summer, baby. I know for us, over here, it's like one, one day it's hot, next day it's cold. It's ridiculous. So, I'm going to be using this rod. Now this is available from Cisco, uh, Avid Vapor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a total of eight wraps. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. And that's eight. So I'm just going to tighten them up. Take my nail clipper. Okay. Now, this is a total of eight wraps. I'm going to be applying it to here. So 
So what I do is I just mount it right on. I press down with my finger, okay? Then what I do is I take the pair of pliers and I'm actually wrapping. I wish I could zoom that in for you. I have to get a better camera. But what I'm actually doing is I'm just wrapping it right behind the, uh, the Phillips screw. And, and I'm doing it clockwise. And then I just tighten it like so. And then I loosen up the other one just a little bit more as far as in the Phillips. And I yank this one. Okay, just like that, just to show you a little bit up close and personal. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just yanking it, and now I'm just tightening it. Okay, now once that's done, see how quick that was to put mount this coil on there? What I do is, very softly, I squeeze in the coils, okay? squeeze it in now this is just to help it because I want to set up micro coils and as I do that okay perfect now the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna be cutting the excess just like that Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to mount this on and I'm going to be mounting it on my cyborg, um, the new cyborg uh, with the DNA 30. So I have it mounted on. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is Okay, so I'm going to put a new battery. I'm going to put it in PD2900 from Orbs. Okay, available by Fluid Vapor. Forget about it. Put in the tube. There we go. So now I'm going to start this off at... Let's go down to uh, 18. There we go. Look at the fonts on that go. There we go. So now let's bring this down. I want this at 18 to start. Okay, it's at 18. I'm gonna fire. It's 1.8 ohms. Okay, so here it is firing. Now, what we're gonna do next? Actually, gonna be using right now is ceramic um, pliers, like so. So that way, when I'm firing the actual mod, I can clamp in together, like so the actual coils and they won't fry like so see that and then what I do is I put in the rod again just to make sure tighten evenly which they are look at that I can light up a basement with this now now that it's already been set now I have it at 2 ohms it's only 2 ohms 
wait for it to focus. See, it's two ohms, 18 watts, and six six volts. Okay, so she's firing very nice. Okay, now you can go even higher if you wish, but we're gonna start at 18. Okay, so now what we're gonna do that this is set. Now I'm gonna apply the wick. Okay. And the wick that I'm going to be using is cotton. That's right. Now this cotton is available at Fluid Vapor. As well as the Cyborg. This is the new Cyborg DNA 30. Excellent mod. I have to do a review on this soon enough. Not today. Um, but real soon. Definitely, really soon. Forget about it. So here we are. We, I'm going to drip just a little bit of juice just to help get me started onto it. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to twist it. Yes, twist it. And we're just going to twist the beginning of it. like that and then we're gonna stick it in baby forget about it just like that we're gonna wiggle it ooh just a little bit now come on now wiggle it so now what we do is yank on it very little okay that's enough wicking that we need let me just show you okay so, we're not going to need any more wicking than that, okay? Totally not. That's, that's more than enough, okay? And as far as on the other side, we snip it. So, here we are. That's it. That's all the wicking that we're going to be using, okay? That's it. See that? Next, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the bottom sleeve, all right, the metal shaft, okay, and we're going to apply it. It only can go one way, and this is what we're left with. Now, this is why this works ideally on here, because as you can see where the wraps are, um, let me focus that for you. See that? It's way below the actual screw cap. It's below it. It's not touching. It's not going to touch the actual cap. Okay? So it's 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 totally, totally ideal. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to add juice to this. Yes, we're going to add juice to this. Okay, so I'm going to be adding some old man's pipe more vapor so I'm just gonna be adding juice make sure the cotton is nice and soaked like that okay now what we're gonna do is put this cap on okay next thing we're gonna do is when we're using a drip tip now, the drip tip that I'm going to use that I really, really recommend people to use is this one. And this one is from Avid Vapor. This thing, look at the bore size on this thing. Look how big this thing is. It is huge, I tell you. Totally, totally huge. This thing is just humongous, a little bore size. There we go. And look, and it matches perfectly. Right on. Totally. So now let's take a vape. Okay, so I have it on here at 18 watts. Okay. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, come on, focus. 
18 watts, 2 ohms, fires at 6 volts. Okay, so we're going to start from there. Mm. Ufa. Delicious, I tell you. Works great. Let me add a couple more drops because I got to break in that cotton wick. There we go. Add a few more drops in there. And as you can see, no leaking. None. It's not leaking at all. Okay. Now, I do have, you do have the option of adjusting the airflow. There is a flat screw in here that I will be screwing out just a little bit more so that way I get more airflow. And as you heard, the gush, it's because it's a little flooded in there. But she fires greatly. Now with that, I could add a couple more drops and I can raise up the wattage and let's make it 22. And at 22 she fires 6.6 .6 volts. Now that's a vape. That is a vape. Freaking A, a vape, I tell you. Ooh, very delicious. Very extremely delicious. <clears throat> now, now you can actually use this like a regular 510 dripper or like a 306 dripper. That's more or less the kind of draw I'm getting from here, okay? Um, and instead of using it as a tank, obviously it's made for it to be a tank, but... I'm just using it as a dripper right now. Totally, she's rocking at 22 watts. I mean, I got it at 22. I'll show you. Let me focus that a little. 22 watts. And she's at 6.6.7 .6 volts. I don't know if you can see that. But 6.7 volts. Now I can go higher. I wish let's go higher let's make it 28 watts 28 7.5 volts in fact with 7.5 volts hitting this thing let's add a couple more drops we want to keep the cotton nice and wet because we don't want the cotton to burn okay so here it is let me focus that for you and see if you can see that. There we go. 7.6 volts. Insane. Wow. Totally, totally insane. So I'm going to keep the video short. Uh, I just wanted to show you as far as like how you can build it. Now, keep in mind, you can't flood this thing too much because um, you can run into the possibility of leaking, you know, out of that air hole. So you just want to soak it enough just for the for the kind of vape that you're actually doing. Um, I mean, I have it flooded a little bit now, but it hasn't been leaking. So as you can see, see, no leaks. Um... So I'm going to cut the video short. I just wanted to show you how to do this, being that I did this already on Vape TV and a few people were asking me. So there it is. Quite simply, high resistance works beautiful on this, as well as low resistance. But, um, you know, I mean, how, how hot you want it. I'm already at 7.7 .7 volts, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's pretty insane of a vape. 
So with that, I'll let you guys go. Live hard and vape hard. Peace.